law enforcement, we are hurting too. And I don't think that people understand that, that when this happened, that person hurt us because he took our badge and he dirtied it, he tarnished it. So what he did hurt us too, and I don't think people understand that. George Floyd has become a worldwide symbol in the protest against racism and police brutality. Many people are angry with the police abuse of power, but some bad apples that not speak for all of the police officers. Today, we talk to Mirta Ramos, the DeKalb County Police Chief, to clarify some points. Abolish the police, defound the police, both have been yelled by the protesters on the street, and both concepts are now part of the public opinion. But what do they mean and where the difference between them? Okay, so I don't know how they're referring to it, but abolish really means that you just want to do away with police. You don't want any law enforcement. And defunding means you want to have law enforcement, but you want to take some of the funding that's being provided to them and give it to other organizations. The problem with that is that if you don't have any police, who is going to protect the community? We're still going to have crime. Uh, so if you get away with police, you will have no police. Who do you call if someone is sick? Who do you call if someone breaks into your house? Who do you call if someone wants to fight with you, shoots you, stabs you? There'll be no one to show up if they don't, if they abolish the police. And also, what could be the consequences for defunding the police? Well, defunding the police um, is gonna have lots of consequences. Most law enforcement agencies now don't have enough money now anyway. We don't have enough uh, law enforcement officers. We don't have enough money for training and things to make ourselves better. So if you're gonna take away the money, that means there may be less police, less training. So how do we improve if we don't have the funding to do better and be better? I understand that people are frustrated. I understand that they wanna come up with a solution. I don't think getting rid of the police or defunding the police is the answer. I think what we need to do is we need to invest time and effort into law enforcement. That way we can have enough training, we can have enough police officers, we can fix some of the problems that we know that we have, but sometimes we don't have the resources to address. So rather than saying it's not working, I don't think that we should get rid of something that has been in existence for over 200 years. How do you feel as an officer who works for the community to keep us safe every day and seeing these horrific posters and names towards the police and attacking you like direct? How, how do you personally feel about this? Well, you know, it is a little painful, um, but we don't want to stay discouraged. I understand that people are angry and rightfully so. They're upset about something that happens and I know but what I ask of the community is not to put all of the law enforcement officers into the same uh, into the same picture. I understand? I understand the frustration, and we stand with you with the frustration. However, we are not all the same. Some of us are here simply to protect and serve, and so it's a little painful to be grouped into one. Uh, so I just tell the community not to lose faith in us that we are here to protect and serve, and and we understand you. We see you. We understand your pain. Um, many people disagree with the police way of operations. Um, what changes do you think it could be done or how could it be improved? Well, I definitely think we need to have a bigger focus on community interaction, community policing, simply meaning that we want to be more in the community. We want to be able to interact with the community one-on-one. -on -one. The way that you get to use to people that are not like you, whether they're wearing a different uniform, whether they're black, whether they're white, the way that you learn about each other is by interacting together. Many, many times um, Hispanics in general feel afraid to call the police because they feel that they can maybe be border. What message can you give to these people? The DeKalb County Police Department doesn't care about your immigration status. What we care about is that you do not feel victimized because if someone commits a crime against you and you don't call the police, it's almost like you're being victimized twice because now we can't take care of you. We can't take care of the problem. So yes. how do you feel about being part of a minority in this country, a Latina police force? Um, you know, I'm really honored because I'm kind of a three-part minority. So I'm a black Hispanic female, which are all three minorities. 
And so I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of being the first female police chief in DeKalb County. I'm proud and I hope that with that, I can show the communities that we can come together and that we can do whatever we want. Anything is possible. So whether I inspire a female, whether Hispanic or not, black or not, I just want us to stand together and know that we can do whatever we want to do if we just put forth the effort.